And welcome to the Screening Room, the Thanksgiving edition. <laughs> I'm Russ Simmons. And I'm Sean Edwards. And Russ, I would invite Pat and Abby over to watch movies for Thanksgiving, but yeah. uh, all the food's pretty nasty this weekend, right? <laughs> well, the, the movie food is not yes, as good as I food, would have liked. Right. Yeah. Well, now we've got one we're really looking forward to, and that's yep. Napoleon. Ridley Scott's historical epic about the infamous French emperor comes up a bit short. Da Joaquin oh, Phoenix boom. mumbles his way through this visually spectacular, often funny, but dramatically lackluster extravaganza. Now this Napoleon is a petulant and childish ruler who's cuckolded by his wife Josephine, played by Vanessa Kirby, but his megalomania is strangely missing. It's an entertaining but uninspired saga. Yeah, Russ, there is an imbalance that exists with Napoleon. I mean, how can a film be this big and grand and say so very little and not explain enough. Yeah. Now the battle scenes are terrific, but everything else is a mix of half facts and some incorrect historical depictions. And Joaquin Phoenix lazily, lazily traverses the material, but isn't that director Ridley Scott's fault who at best seemed distracted and at worst seemed overwhelmed by the height of the material? Yeah, still for the battle scenes, I'll give it three popcorn No, bags. the battle scenes are tremendous, but I mean, you're not going to the movies to watch a highlight reel of fights, uh, two popcorn bags. All right, well, the latest Disney animated fantasy, Wish, slavishly follows the template of other Mouse House fairy tales. All of the ideas in this movie are plucked from those other more memorable stories. All of them. Yeah. A wizard king holds hostage the wishes of his nation's people, and a young girl wishes on a star to try to free them. <laughs> it's tuneful, it's well animated, but Wish only wishes it were as good as those previous Disney classics. Yeah, Russ, Disney used to be good at the business of delivering princess fantasies, but Wish seems like something that was stuck in the vaults for decades. I mean, both the animation and the story as generic as you can get. Not even the music elicits any life or is even magic. I love Ariana DeBose, but mm -hmm. she didn't have anything to work with. For the kids, three popcorn bags. Man, why you want to insult the kids? <laughs> Two popcorn bags. Now, speaking of insults, Oscar-winning yes, filmmaker Emerald Fennell's pitch black social comedy Saltburn is about as pleasant as a bout of nausea. D Barry Keoghan is excellent as an Oxford student who worms his way into spending time with a wealthy family students at a, their family estate, but you know, nothing is as it seems. Now while it's, it's whip smart, it's wickedly daring, Saltburn is also excessively repellent and depressing. Uh, you're right. And, um, you know, haven't I seen this movie before? Uh, I think it's called The Talented Mr. Ripley, but Saltburn isn't nearly as good. True. But Russ, this movie is vile and crude. It desperately wants to get inside your head, but it's so dumb it doesn't know how to enter. I'll give it three popcorn bags, but that's for the acting. Okay, the acting's good, but everything, oh. Why would anybody want to watch this? One popcorn bag. You can see all of our reviews and interviews with Hollywood's biggest stars at fox4kc.com slash screening. I mean, yeah. I mean, we don't make them. We just watch them. <laughs> <laughs> right. Exactly. Not that much to be thankful we don't, for. We don't, we don't make them. They just tell us to show up and we watch them and we see what we see. I mean, I'm, oh my goodness. Uh, just go watch Barbie again or Oppenheimer again or uh, anything but these movies. Yeah. Reruns. Like, yes. there you go. like yes. leftovers. Exactly. Always exactly. Go. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Good stuff. Thanks a lot, guys. And with that, Carrie Stoll is here for Hollywood Headlines.